the Great Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Hello. Um, Tragic day for the bodybuilding community. Is it? Uh, Ia Yefimin Chick. He goes by Gollum. Okay. Belarusian, Belarusian bodybuilder. Belarusian bodybuilder. He okay. passed away at the age of 36. 34. And he was a bodybuilder. Well, 36. It, let's take it 36. <laughs> Literally said it and he said it. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. So, this, this, if you're watching guy. on the YouTube channel, Jesus, this is man. what this man looks like. Holy crap. He, I mean, I don't even know how big his biceps are. It doesn't say, but huge. Bro, that's a big boy. Yeah, like even in a picture like the one right there, he looks like, you know, on a more average, not pumped up picture, just a giant man. Like, here's the thing. Jeez. Like, this man cannot put a shirt on by himself. He has to cut the sleeves off everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It says uh, he was 340 pounds. Yeah. It said uh, he was six feet tall. Oh, it does say here, 25-inch python, uh, pythons causing a Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Yeah, 25-inch biceps complained, claimed personal lifts of a 600-pound bench press and a 700-pound deadlift and a 700-pound squat. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So, he's a very strong obviously guy. Obviously a strong man. It's kind of it's kind of weird when you see somebody that looks like they're in that much shape and like you always like attribute that look to being in shape, but it's not necessarily no, because indicative. You're, you're, it's you're he might as well have been four hundred pounds in fat. Yeah, like you're no more healthy yeah. than a man who's four hundred pounds in fat. I mean, probably <laughs> he healthier because you don't have all the fat. But like, and and then like like honestly, Jonas, um, you know, you think maybe he was on steroids a little bit. Nope. A little bit. Little natural. Bit. All natural. This dude probably was pumping so many roids and supplements and bull crap into his body. So apparently the story said that he had been doing steroids for really? a long time. Shock. So prolonged steroid use. And he had been also using the, uh, the synthol that mimics like muscle tissue. Oh, to, probably for, HGH too. Yep. So that's why some of those pictures, he looked bigger than in other ones, um, is that he was using like the, the injection fake muscle. It's like muscle Botox. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> it kind of It's is. like, um, but like. He had been having kidney issues. Oh, um, really? Yeah. So he was losing a lot of the weight to uh, try to uh, remedy that, but the heart got big and the heart's a muscle. But yeah. it's one of the few muscles where when it gets big, it's a bad thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Enlarged heart kills yeah. all sorts of people. So, so heart issues um, again. Man, it's like, it's like I get wanting to be buff. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I like I enjoy I like I enjoy lifting weights. Mm -hmm. I'm not a buff man, mm -hmm. but like I enjoy lifting weights. I I think it's like once you get part the past the first couple weeks where you're just like feel like you're dying. It's it's actually enjoyable to go and get that quote unquote pump and you get the blood going to your muscles like sure. and if I could see all the definition when I walked out of the gym I would have to probably feel pretty good about myself like damn like look at me I'm buff as f you know like yeah I but mean, there's a difference between being a fit dude yeah and just like it's like they have re like reverse body dysmorphia like they a lot it's of them not they reverse say, body dysmorphia that is just strictly body dysmorphia. well yeah but most time it's like people who are like who have been fat and lost weight they don't see you know he looks in the mirror and he does not see a big strong guy he sees weak and skinny or he sees the fat little chubby kid that he was in in high school and that got made fun of and probably the reason that he's done this he has some he had some some issues with his own self-image that's and that's obvious because anybody else would have been like once i'm hurting myself like this guy knows about nutrition. He knows about health. He probably ate a diet that was cleaner than any diet any of us have ever eaten. And he did it for years. Right. He dedicated his life to being something that he could never truly achieve in his own self image. Right. That is body dysmorphia. That's true. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, um, and there was a word, there's a, there's an actual word for when I, I can't, I looked it up one day. It was like when you, it's like when it's muscle, like muscle bait. It's like, oh, okay. yeah. it's like, there's a word that it's like specific to like bodybuilders and stuff because yeah. like you just, you think you're scrawny and you are huge. Yeah. Like, and you just like, it's uh it's, I mean, it can go even, both ways, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Even like average size buff dudes. It's like, you can't even find clothes that fit you. They have the mm -hmm. same problems that like fat dudes have. 
Like you can't find clothes that fit you right. Like you gotta. It's yeah. like, but it's a good problem to have because you know you look like that. You're gonna get laid, and nobody's gonna mess with you. I mean, he was making money off of that look. I mean, you know, kind of like parading around, kind of like, like a, a circus attraction, though. Hey, brother, the man's dead, so you know you say what you, <laughs> you say what you say, but yeah, kind of like that. I mean, kind it's the same of. thing as like a sword swallower. It's like look at this, look at the big it's crazy the big man, a sword swallower, it fire eater. You know what I mean? Fire and trapeze artist. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's like, all of these things take a degree of skill. I believe that his probably took a little bit more because he hasn't eaten a pizza in probably like thirty years. Yeah, <laughs> and I have to say is that is way harder. Well, the side. I'd rather swallow a sword than not eat pizza. I, feel <laughs> I don't like know. It. I don't like the way that came out. Actually, <laughs> can we edit that? Can we take that out? Yeah, no, I'm not editing you know? anything. Uh, but yeah, man, it's I just it's unfortunate. Like I, it's it's crazy because I, I it, like part of me understands it because I do love lifting weights. Like if I could just lift weights for my job and get paid from that, mm -hmm. I would do that over what I do for my real job. Like, hmm? I mean, I feel like a lot of people should understand it. You know, it's it, a lot of people look in the mirror and are not a hundred percent happy with what they see looking back at them. It's just you have the mental capacity to keep moving. With, on with your life and just be like, all right, I guess I'm just gonna be fat today. Or sometimes, you know, I can get better. You know, you can you can definitely do the work if you if you want to change it. But a lot of people are just like, you know, they just be like, fuck it, I don't care. Yeah, I mean, and that's really, I mean, and that, but you have to be okay with that mindset, right? Yeah, and I mean, and that's the hard part. Yeah, because I don't know, man. It's, I'm not saying is that that's the right mindset to have, but I'm saying is that the inverse to it is can be equally as debilitating oh yeah when you're when you're like striving for an end goal that doesn't exist yes like because like somebody can i bet you somebody could say to him what would be enough mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he'd be like there isn't yeah and there's certain people that can eat and what would be enough and there isn't right so both ends of the spectrum are unhealthy yeah so there are there's too much of a bad thing and too much of a good thing yeah man uh yeah, that's that's wild. Uh, any, uh, anyways, I'll move on to one other little thing. What we what we moving Did on? Did you to? see that uh, Shannon Sharp? He's a former football player. <laughs> yeah, man, he has a he has a, a podcast. Club Shay Shay recently had uh, one of the Wayans brothers. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, yeah he's a, he's on an, he's an analyst on. He yeah. does podcasting. So I uh, he accidentally live streamed him banging some girl. Like he, it was like, it was, it was just like the phone was just out, but like you could hear him having sex with someone. And like they immediately said, of course, his phone was hacked or like da da da. And then he didn't know how to use IG and, Live. And then I didn't know how to use IG Live, Playboy. That's and, something he was saying. Yeah, he, he saying. does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it came oh, out. Not? It came out later. He just admitted. He's like, nah. He goes, I'm just really not good with technology. And like I happened to like throw it on the, he said he threw his phone down on the bed. And he had accidentally went live, like, yeah. when he threw his phone down, and he just, like, went to it. <laughs> come on, Ocho. Ocho, come on. <laughs> yeah. Come uh, yeah. On, I'll be on IG Live, Ocho. Yeah, Ocho, right, talk. Ocho is his, uh, <laughs> yeah. is his, um, that was, like, who was the NBA player that, like, sent the D-pick to his story? Oh, uh, I don't remember. It was, one, it was, I it was, it was uh, oh, Darmon Green. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, you know, Draymond it's like, Green. you know, oops, I don't know how to use Instagram, like. All right, let me let me let me give some context here. There have been a lot of rumors lately okay. that Shannon Sharp is gay because of the way he dresses. Oh, his mannerisms, his mannerisms, the way he talks. People, there's been a little speculation. Oh, has there been that? Yeah, I mean, for years, oh, for years okay. since he was on ESPN. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just saying Devil's is that advocate I, is. I, I'm just saying is that everything you see is for a reason. All right. You get the hell out of here. If you are familiar with the Instagram application, it is extremely difficult to go live on accident. All right. Well, let's see. So, like, if I bring it up, you have to bring it up. You have to hit the plus. You have to swipe over to live. And then it goes three, two, one. And then you have to hit the button. And then it goes three, two, one. Yeah, like, brother, I don't buy it. Now, yeah. now there's that angle. There's the angle that maybe. The young lady did it in order to try to gain notoriety herself. Yeah, but Lots she's of, not. It wasn't a video of them. 
You yeah. know, it wasn't like it, it was wasn't like sound. set up recording. Them. And yeah. believe me, I did not listen. This is one where I didn't do a no, deep I just, dive. I just, I just saw the story and thought <laughs> yeah. it was funny. I didn't do a deep dive on this one, but there was some grunts and some snarls and some some squeaks and some slaps. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of onomatopoeia is happening yeah, there, all there, over the place. Phonics was happening. A lot, a lot <laughs> Goddamn of phonics. phonics! You damn right. So yeah, I don't know. You can go ahead and listen to that if you're into that kind of I mean, stuff. But anyways, man, it's like <laughs> so. You're saying it was like he was like, see, I do, like I do love girls. Um, that's that's the speculation, and I mean, does it alleviate some of the some of those uh, no, allegations? Because he can have sex with a woman just to ch- try to convince people he's not gay. People, gay dudes have families, bro. Honestly, I don't care if he does have sex with guys. This, I mean, I don't care. I, either. You don't even have to tell me. Guess what? I don't care. You don't have to tell you. Guess what? You don't even have to tell me. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, guess what? I don't care that you have sex with men. Yeah, and Shannon Sharp, guess what? I don't care. Yeah. And those people that make fun of you, fuck them. You make more money than them. Right, exactly. So, anywho, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. My cash app is TNT Dynamite 777. <laughs> Shannon. TNT. Oh, we out. <laughs>